V Ljubljanskem mestnem muzeju ima 5000 let staro kolo. Zaveda tisto kolo je močno izboljšalo, olajšalo življenje takratnih prebivalcev, ampak roko na srce tisto kolo je omogočilo zelo neudobno vožnjo. In seveda zato smo s časoma kolesa obdali s takšno gumjasto oblogo in pa napihnili smo jih z rakom. Ampak prav z raka se bomo pa zdaj po novem pri gumah spet znebili. Smo leta 2022 in v nekaj letih, mogoče desetletih, bomo dobili spet gume brez zraka. Poglejmo, zakaj gre. So my first question will be, why? Yeah, why? As we start to see autonomous vehicles uh, developing and getting more mature, there's a lot of, of need to have a redundant system to where if anything were to go wrong, the vehicle can continue on. So imagine if the tire were to go down, lose air pressure, it stops. And there's nobody in a vehicle with an autonomous shuttle, an autonomous taxi. So if you can remove that problem and create a new structure where there's built-in redundancy, if something were to go wrong, it continues to run. And that's actually what this engineered a non-pneumatic tire is capable of doing. But redundancy, you could solve this problem in ah. many other ways. Yes, a lot of the challenges we've done run on flat tires in the past, uh, those tend to be heavy. They tend to be solid based structures inside the tire. This is actually a, an engineered uh, system to where the tire is hanging from the top of the structure. What do you mean hanging? I have a demo over here. If we want to pull this hoop up, I can show you. So this, ha, imagine this is this part of the tire. Yeah. And watch when I pull down here, that just bends out of the way. But this all pulls down and gets really tight. So that's what's happening. It's not that it's a shock absorber as much as it just bends and pulls all of that. Mm -hmm. You don't want it running down on it. It's That's too much stress. Let's go to the materials. Yeah, this looks like normal plastic. Yes, it looks like normal plastic, but it's not normal. So it's what's called a, a uh, engineered thermal plastic elastomer. And the word elastomer is key. If you think about rubber in the way we design tires today, there's a lot of rubber reinforcements inside of it. Rubber is the uh, elastic, right? Certain plastics can be created that also behave like rubber. They can go under deformation, it's called. Up and down, up and down, up and down, like the cycling of the tire. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a special type of plastic uh, that we've used and we, we studied and chosen one that works in this kind of system where it, it goes down and then pulls and then goes down and then pulls. Um, and a key feature is it's also recyclable. So to your first, yes, you could actually melt that down and reshoot the part and reuse it which is an answer to the earlier question. Why airless? Well, one issue is we think this is more sustainable. What will I feel in the drive? Yeah, you're actually gonna feel um, a lot of confidence when you're turning. Um, one of the advantages of the system is it has what we call lateral forces. It has a lot of good lateral force. So when you're turning, you can keep turning and keep turning and it's, it's confident. Um, when, you, when you're on the air tire, as you really get into that heavy turn, the air is moving away and you're softening. And then you, you can kind of feel that sometimes that you're losing the ability to, to make the turn. This is more stable, this direction. Now the technology is not all the way there, so it will be a little bit noisier, right? You'll hear a little bit of more road noise in the structure. Torej, nekaj že vemo, avto bo ekstremno glasen. Ampak tisto, kar gremo zdaj na testno progo preizkusiti je, kako se obnese v ovinkih. So welcome on the track testing from Goodyear Luxembourg. You can drive uh, a bit fast, but it's not the goal. The goal is here that the tires is working like a common tires. So you can see that the reaction is quite direct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I definitely feel it. Yeah, for, for sure the, the, the noise is uh, it's different than uh, normal tires and also the comfort. But yeah, the, the, it's still, it's a project still ongoing. So they are still working on it and they are improving it. So. I'm pretty sure that in the future we will receive uh, the next one model with better um, comfort and, and noise uh, capability. This tire is all about also the shock absorbing effect. Yeah, yeah. Can we test here? Yeah, you can. Uh, can I drive here? Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> 
yeah, comfortably. It, it works well. You said <laughs> we could cut this, uh, oh, this side. All right, so we, we have so many spokes. How many spokes? 72 by 4. 72 by 4. Ah, uh -huh, because four, yeah, uh, four yeah. lines. Yeah, you can see four lines. So if we crash, uh, for example... So if, for example, you, it, it happens, maybe it happens, but we hope that it never happens, that one of the spokes will uh, uh, break or be damaged. So you can still drive, you will not remark it. This tire is very uh, noisy. Right. How will you solve this problem? Will you close As it? As you saw, it's uh, outside the car, you don't hear the noise. Yeah. It's a structural noise. And we are working on that to, to, uh, to improve it. One part will be the design of the spokes. The other part will be also the material. Material is important. And also the pitch of the tread. But you will not close the tire? Well, that depends. The, the idea is not to close it. I'm asking this because of the aerodynamics and they said mm -hmm. they, they need to close the wheels. Yeah, that, that's correct. That's a good point, very good point. But for the moment, we are not there. Now, if you close it, you add something else additionally, you know, and... Uh, that yeah. would uh, add some weight or is it... For problem? example, yeah, it would add some weight and uh, then the, the, the cooling will be different. Aha, you know? uh -huh, so this yeah. thing... You see, when, it, when it's driving, it cools also. So, and then you, you can also imagine that this system will also cool down uh, the brakes. The brakes, yeah. Zagotovo bo takšna guma nekako vplivala tudi na gumarski posun. Ampak vendar le se ne smemo slepiti. Ta guma ne bo odpravila potrebe pomenjavi gum. You said that this is a maintenance free tire. What do you mean by that? Yeah, maintenance free. The key feature that you have to maintain in your current tire is air pressure. Every day, constantly, you should be monitoring your air pressure. The tire is designed to operate most effective in a small pressure range. Not as important to, to maybe me driving my own car. I don't check it every day. Um, but to fleet folks that are managing hundreds or thousands of vehicles, just a few different changes in the pressure will affect the, how fast the, the tread wears away. It could affect how much heat is built up and you lose the tire uh, performance. And so they're every day they're maintaining the air. They, they go out and they blow it up. And the next day they go out every day. You don't have to do that with this. You, this will not change. So this is designed to always be in the right pressure in the road so you get nice uniform tread wear so your tires last longer. So this maintenance free doesn't mean that it will last forever. No, it does not mean that. And to be honest, in our technical journey, we're not at that point yet to where we say, oh, it would last 10% more or 20% more. Uh, we're still really focused on the fundamental parts of the technology. How well can we drive a car with it? But how will this type of technology affect the business of the tire companies? It's a good question, and I, we just see it as an evolution. It's, it's not something that we say, oh, it's going to change everything about tires. Uh, we don't see that going away anytime soon. We see as new opportunities come up, like these small micro delivery robots. That's new business for a tire company. That was just adding to Goodyear's portfolio. Na preden bomo takšne gume brez raka dobili tudi v takšnih Teslah in drugih osebnih avtomobilih, bo verjetno res preteklo še vsaj nekaj let, če ne celo desetletji. Ampak že danes pa Goodyear takšne gume izdeluje tudi za vozila, ki se že danes vozijo po cestah. Spomnimo lahko na estonski startup Starship. Ta izdeluje robote za dostavo recimo kave iz bližnjega Starbucksa ali pa za dostavo hrane, recimo pice, po manjših okoliških, recimo po kakšnih kampusih ali pa po majhnih mestnih ulicah. In spomnimo lahko tudi na Olja. Seveda gre za majhen avtonomni šatel. In v takšnem avtomobilu smo mi sedeli že leta 2016 v Los Angeles, ko smo se prav v tistem majhnem avtomobilu pogovarjali z glavnim marketingerjem. Takrat smo govorili predvsem to o tem, da je tisti Oli 3D natisnen. Danes pa bi se vedel lahko govorili tudi o tem, da ima tisti Oli gume brez zraka. No, če vas zanima več o tem Oliju, predlagam, da kliknete in pogledate intervju.